and welcome to the Honolulu Museum of Art's Elements of Art series. Today, we're going to explore the element of texture while looking at objects from the museum's collection. Please feel free to pause the video as needed for your group to reflect and respond. Texture is one of the seven elements of art, which includes space, line, shape, color, value, and form. The elements of art are the building blocks that artists use to create artworks. Think of them as ingredients in a recipe. Each element adds its own unique flavor or visual to the finished product. Artists can use a few of the elements in an artwork, or they can use all of them. Each artist uses the elements of art in their individual way to make their own unique artworks. We experience texture in our day-to-day -day lives all the time. For example, take a moment to feel the fabric of your shirt. Does the material feel soft or scratchy? Does it feel smooth or bumpy? What you're feeling is the texture of your shirt. Now, Feel the surface of the chair you're sitting on. How does the surface or texture of the chair feel in comparison to your shirt? It probably feels different, doesn't it? There are many, many different types of texture that can be seen and felt. Textures can be rough or hard, lumpy or sharp. How many different types of texture can you name? I'll name a few more. Liquid, solid, wet, dry, dusty, sticky, gritty, furry, matte, shiny, scaly. The list goes on. Take a moment and look around your classroom. How many of the textures I just listed can you find? Textures can be real or implied. Implied means something that is suggested, but not real. When we felt the fabric of our shirts and the material of our chairs, we were feeling real texture. Real texture is made through hands-on acts, such as building, cutting, layering, sculpting, knitting, and painting. There are lots of different ways to make real textures. Three-dimensional objects have real textures that can be felt and seen. Look at the following artworks and take turns naming the textures you see. Get creative! Do you think the textures of the sculptures feel the same way they look? Textures can sometimes look different than they feel. For example, 
look at the bronze bust Martha Graham by Isamu Noguchi. He created the texture of hair and skin in his sculpture, but it's not actual hair or skin. The woman's head is made from bronze, a metal. Therefore, if you touch the sculpture, it might feel cool and smooth, not like real skin or hair. Implied textures are different than real textures. Implied textures use the other elements of art, space, line, shape, color, value, and form to create the illusion of texture. Let's look at Henry Fenton Latour's painting Vase of Peonies. What texture do you think the flowers are? How did the artist imply or create the texture of flowers on a flat, two-dimensional surface. He used different types of lines to draw the shapes of the flowers, color to illuminate the blooms, and value to make them appear three-dimensional. Artists can also use paint to create texture. Look at Hans Hoffmann's painting, Fragrance. He's layered paint on his canvas in thick brush strokes using a technique called impasto painting. With this technique, the paint itself becomes textural. What do you think the paint feels like? Does it look wet or dry? Squishy or hard? Is the texture real or implied? Photographs have both real and implied texture. There are the real, everyday textures that the camera captures. When we look at a photo of someone, we can see the textures of their clothing and the space around them. However, photographers can also create implied texture through lighting and angles. These textures don't have to mimic or copy real textures. They can be new, invented textures. Invented textures are two-dimensional patterns created by repeating lines or shapes. These patterns can have their own unique textures that aren't found in nature. Can you create your own texture? What type of pattern would you create? Take a moment to brainstorm some ideas. What do you want your texture to feel and look like? What will you name your new texture? Thank you for joining us as we explored the element of texture. I hope you'll join us in making a fun project further investigating texture and art.